Well, hello there, guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. GDI Keza here once again with another episode of Sky Factory 2. How's it going, guys? Good, I hope. Guess what I've been doing? No, not that. You have dirty minds. <laughs> um, I have been doing a bit of grinding on the cobblestone front, and it got me to thinking. I think it's about time we started to upgrade our cobblestone generation so that we can get it a bit more automatic and automated, should I say. I was looking in the achievement book and it suggests doing it via a transfer node. Where is it? Um, we also need to clear out some of these things that we've already got. Uh, yeah, automate your cobble generator with a transfer node. And if we have a look at what it takes to craft a transfer node. Uh, transfer node items. Uh, we need a lot of redstone, a little bit of stone, chest, and some pipes which need loads of aluminium and glass and more redstone. So, that's something that we could do at some point, but I think I have an easier way, particularly as um, as well as that, I think you need the world interaction upgrade, I believe, which is this one, which you need four lapis, uh, four iron plus three iron for the um, pickaxe, so it's kind of expensive for us at the moment. I think I've got a better, cheaper way of doing it. So, what I think we can do is build a timer, which is one of these dudes, and it just requires one iron, one redstone torch and two pieces of redstone, and a block breaker. Uh, there are two in this pack, there is the one from open blocks, which is kind of expensive because it needs a diamond pickaxe, two iron, one redstone and four, uh, five cobble. I was thinking we could use this one from Mine Factory. I hope the two mods are actually compatible. Uh, this one's a lot cheaper. It needs uh, four gold, which I think we've got. I oh, will double check in a second. Uh, it needs plastic, which I think we've got because we've got loads of rubber, which you can convert. Uh, yeah, extra rubber bar into rubber, then into plastic things, then right into plastic sheeting. and Yeah, that needs that as well. So I think if we place one of those and a timer, we can get it to feed into either a chest. I think it's, I think we just have regular chests in this. I know we do have the iron chest thing, but yeah, we're going to need lots of iron for that, so we can perhaps do that at a later date. Or a barrel. Uh, we have, and oh, that's ex nilio barrels, we have better barrel from Jabba. Uh, they're just decorative, decorative, thomium barrel. And, uh, yeah, so, better barrel is, which is a chest and some wood and stuff, so yeah. Not too bad at all. So... Let me gather the resources for that, Hello, and I'll we'll be back. back with you. And it's night time. So, that's kind of what it is. Yeah, I've got together all the stuff that we need. I've actually made the barrel because I just did. Uh, it's all fairly easy. I have one gold nugget left over. I got the golden nuggets by smelting the gold coins. Um, I've still got some rubber going through because we'll probably need more of that later. So, let's build the thing. So, we need. One of those, one of those, one of those, and one of those. And we have a timer. And hmm, let's see if I can remember this. It's that way, and that way, and there, and there, and there. Yes. I'm not sure if this needs power though, so that may be a drawback in our plan. I'm hoping that it... Oh, power usage. Oh, bugger. 
So, that's that. Uh, there's a drawback in our plan. <laughs> yeah, I should have looked at that. Um, what sort of ways do we have of making power at the moment? Do we have dynamos in this? We do. Uh, so... <coughs> We can make a steam. Oh no, we can't make a steam dynamo. Look at it. <laughs> well, we can go to plan B, which is to use the open blocks one, because I don't think that that needs power. And we can still use the other block breaker for something, I'm sure, at some point. <laughs> yeah, so let's have a look at the. <laughs> God damn it. I really should have checked that first. <laughs> so if we can look at the open blocks block breaker we need two iron uh, five cobble and a redstone and a diamond pick and it just so happens I was going to save this until the end but during my grinding session <coughs> we actually collected three diamonds I swear to god it was there <laughs> I really do I don't cheat on things like that <laughs> Um, we do have another diamond in here that we got earlier as well. And we'll go through all of those loot bags at some point. Excuse me, Mr. Enderman. Stupid Enderman. Uh, Nebulous Heart, I don't know what that is. We'll have to look into the reliquary stuff as well. The Endermen don't seem to be doing that much damage. Um, I'll go ahead. Oh, it's an Ender I.O. head. Um, I'm not entirely sure that they can pick up half slabs. I'm not 100% sure. We've got all of these bags as well that we'll look at at some point. I'll probably just convert all of the common ones into uncommon, then maybe the uncommon ones into rare. We can get a lot of them. I mean, we'll probably get a few more now. we got another potato. I do have something else I want to do today as well. I want to get and try and make a uh, Tinker's Construct smeltery. Which I don't think is going to be too much of an issue. Um, because all it really needs is stone to get all of the resources for it. You just need um, gravel, uh, clay, and sand. So. Right, let's go and pick that stuff up before it despawns, and hopefully it hasn't despawned already, because I saw some bags in there. Yeah, we've got another epic loot bag. That's a different loot bag, by the way, I'm not sure what's in that one. Just if you're wondering why it's separated from the rest. I don't know whether it's a good one or a bad one, so... I thought we'd look at some point. Wow, we've got a lot of them. We've actually filled up this area with uh, with these now. Oh, and one thing that I got whilst I was doing some stuff off camera before is this, and it gave me a weird achievement. Um, I don't know if I can actually bring up the achievements that it gives me in that. Is it Britannia, was it that? Nope. Uh, nope. Definitely wasn't applied any logistics. Uh, nope. Nope. Hmm. It gave me something like one first step towards a big world or something. <laughs> something really cryptic and bizarre like that. But it says to I uh, put it into a dim lit researcher. That's from RF Tools, so I'll go through. I didn't see one from RF Tools. Oh, I did. Yeah, small step to a big world. Find your first unknown dimlet. Then we need to research it, so that's something that we can do at some point. <coughs> I was also looking through the um, achievement book and there's some real gnarly hardcore stuff further on. <laughs> I mean, we're not quite on the farming age, we're on like the stone age. Just about. 
and yeah, farming age is just like it's not too bad. And then it's like age of exploration, fly, travel to the nether, kill a wither, kill the ender dragon, hatch the dragon egg and tame it. <laughs> Use an angel block. <laughs> <laughs> and it's Age of Power. Produce 1 million RF per tick, that's going to be insane. Age of Machines, craft a chunk loader. Oh, that's something. Oops, I didn't need to do that. That's something that I wanted to look into. I'll probably do it a long time before this. Um, so I was looking. So we have the chicken chunks mod installed. Now uh, there's. That one's expensive, that one needs another stuff. But this one's fairly cheap. I say fairly. Just needs five gold, an ender pearl, and an enchantment table. <coughs> then you have. And I know that you can set the amount of chunks that loads. But one stage further on is this. And you take a chunk loader, surround it in ender pearls, and you get ten spot loaders. I'm going to have to check to see how much they can load because it might be worth uh, putting them in here depending on how many how much area they actually load uh, because then we can just have a constant source of mobs particularly down here because otherwise they don't seem to take a lot of damage if we're way over there Goodbye, Thormium Sword. Oh well. well. That one I got in a bag, by the way. Uh, running out of space. Let's, let's combine a few of these. More for space than anything at the moment. So, yeah, let's chuck those together. Ah, whoops, I accidentally opened it. <laughs> oh, well, let's just take that one then. And. What else can I chuck in there? I got an empty map as well from an epic one that I found. It's kind of useless. <laughs> I'm fairly certain I know the whole boundaries of this particular world. <laughs> because it starts over there <laughs> and ends over there. <laughs> this is what it is. <laughs> uh, you chill in there for a minute, Mr. Enderman Head. We get quite a lot of emeralds as well. Then. I don't know, everyone seems to like emeralds, um, particularly in vanilla. I tend to find them still just kind of pretty much useless. You can use them for trading with villagers and stuff, but yeah. Villagers always just seem to have really shitty trades. I mean, you can get, you can get what people call good trades. You can get like lots of emeralds for I don't know rotten flesh with the where is it the priest dude, um, <coughs> but yeah then what do you do with the emeralds? You can go and you know, buy iron armor or something. But yeah, thanks. That was really worth that. It's quite a good way to exploit experience sometimes, but. But it is what it is. It's not meant to put you in there. You're meant to go in there. Block breaker from open blocks. I need five cobblestone, one thing, redstone, two iron, and a diamond pickaxe. How many iron is it? Two. Excellent. I have just enough. We will use the other block breaker for something else. <laughs> it might work better, I don't know. Uh, let me grab an axe. I don't really need an axe, but... Hmm. Ah, it's like chopping wood with axes. <coughs> so, if we place you there... Um just want to make sure we don't lose anything here. I'm not sure if it'll connect to this. 
Uh, not the music disc, it'll almost certainly not connect to that. So, can I place a timer on here? I cannot. I can place it in there. <laughs> I can place it on there. But you no know, send redstone signal. Okay. I can Right, let's see how you work. Okay. Let's see if you can work from this side and let's not fall off. Because that would be kinda tragic. Okay, you will work from there. So yeah, that seems to be working. And I'll go and get another slab, <laughs> since we lost that one. So yeah, I believe the transfer node's quicker, but... I don't know, there's something different to do. I don't like following the rules. This one isn't too bad, I mean we've got 23 just like that. So, uh, yeah, next thing on the agenda, I'll start gathering the resources for a, uh, what should we call it, a Tinker's Construct a Smeltery, and I'll see you in two shakes of a creeper's tail. Well, hello again, and I thought I'd show this, because this is all the cobble that we've got, and we're just going to, I actually haven't taken any from there, but it's all the cobble that we had in the chest, so we're just going to break this whole entire thing, I think it's like, seven or eight stacks, something like that. Uh, I've got a few hammers, but I might need to make some more, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. There goes one. There goes two. <laughs> and there goes three. That's obnoxious, I left one there. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> And four, and that's the lot. <laughs> oh, I'm missing some gravel. Uh, so yeah, that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nearly nine stacks. Nearly. So yeah. I won't do it with all of them, because that's going to be tedious to watch. <laughs> right, I'll see you in a second once I've got some clay and some grout. And no, not some... Yeah, actually, I'll just convert it all into grout. And then we'll start building the smeltery. Uh, I'll probably need to build a new platform for that. We could go down, but... Might save that for later. We might just... Hmm... Where do we want to build it? Let's have a look around. And let's gather some potatoes whilst we're here. Potatoes are still my main food source at the moment. These like one, two, three, four, five, six patches of potatoes are enough to feed me. They're a pretty good food source. Once they're baked, they do. What is that? Th three? Three haunches? So, yeah, I will do all that with the gravel. I'm gonna possibly need more stone hammers, we'll see. Uh, yeah. Okay, right, guys, I'll how's it going? Uh, so, I've made all this grout and <laughs> I've made all these slab furnaces. <laughs> because I want to get the smelting done quickly and if you're really fastidious about the use of coal let's look at this, there's one piece in each thing <laughs> and it's perfectly divisible by eight 
so maximum efficiency on the coal. <laughs> anyway, I just thought I'd uh oh god damn it. <laughs> I thought I'd show you that <laughs> just for any of the OCD dudes out there might get a kick out of this. <laughs> right, I'll see you when it's all done smelting. Okay guys, and we're back. And that took a little bit longer than I expected, but I've got the smeltery done and I've also been playing around with some beautification. I like that word. <laughs> So we've changed these fences with carpenter's barriers, which you can put your own textures on. This one doesn't have texture on it at the moment. Uh, I'm not quite sure what we'll do. I want to have some sort of kind of transitional uh, fence for each of the sections. I've also got these torches from Chisel 2, which are really cool. I put the <laughs> I put them as um candles, so I need to change those actually. Uh, yeah, I put them as candles because the sound this thing makes kind of reminds me of an old printing press. <laughs> and we've got this smeltery, which I think is looking pretty cool. We've actually made it rounded. And we've done that by using carpenter's wedges from the carpenter's blocks mod, which I think is kind of cool. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a waste because it doesn't actually add to the smeltery itself, but here's what it is. I like this, this is actually coloured cobblestone, but it looks like a shadow. And what else did we do? We Oh yeah, we added this as well to make it look a bit more industrial. And I moved that timer and put it down there. Because I didn't like the fact that there were two blocks and it made it look all uneven. Um, the another thing that I should mention, if you're playing this, is um, if you right-click the timer, it normally brings you into a GUI, a graphic user interface, um, which you can set the amount, the uh, speed of the timer. Uh, but for some reason, it must be a bug or a conflict with one of the um, with one of the other mods it just crashes the game, or at least it crashes mine. And I've done it like three times now just to make 100% sure that it was that that was doing it. Um, another thing that's just not really any point in doing, but I want to try vein mining these because they're not actually classed as blocks, they're classed as tile entities. So just out of curiosity, I want to see if Fane Miner recognises them. And it does. Okay. There you go, we have 64 slab furnaces. <laughs> In case we need to use them at any point. Um, yeah, I didn't mind this sound originally, but it's kind of getting a bit obnoxious now, so I think we're going to make a, a noise... What is it? A noise barrier? something or other, sound muffler yeah we're gonna make a sound muffler um... no we're not gonna make a sound muffler because we need loads of wool and we have no wool but that's something that we're gonna get to when we get some grassland up and running which should be the next episode, I don't do an agricultural episode next time and we'll expand this farm and we'll start doing some magical crops things uh, because we're going to want to get some magical crop stuff because oops if we have a look at this you can get all sorts of really cool things with magical crops <coughs> you can get all of these different essences where are we? And you can essentially just grow resources like you grow uh, regular food. So that could be quite useful. And most of the stuff that's going to be useful to us is kind of higher tier. But you need to kind of start at the bottom and work your way up. Um, right, so apart from that, is there anything else that we want to do? Um, I don't think so this episode. Uh, between now and the next episode, I'm going to grind some cobblestone. We filled up this barrel already, it's got 64 stacks of cobblestone. 
I'm going to grind some cobblestone and sieve it because another thing that I want to make fairly soon is the is get some automation on the way. So we want to make an automatic. We want to make an automatic sieve, which um it's not going to be too bad. I don't know how to make electrical steel. I don't know if we've got any. Oh, we need an alloy furnace. That's going to be an issue. You hopper upgrade. Ah, whatever. Um, Electrum is gold and iron. I thought it was gold and silver. Maybe they changed it. Hmm. I'm sure there is gold and iron. And go uh, gold and silver. Oh, it is in Tinkers. Okay. Uh, so gold and iron, we can probably do that. We've got... Yeah, we'll be able to do that by next episode at least. I can smart down these gold coins if we run into any problems with that. Uh, what else do we need? We need Electrum. Uh, no, we need Invar, which is... That is... Iron... Oh, does it have to be that iron? It's iron and ferrous. Um, I wonder if there's a I wonder if there's a tinker's construct way of doing that. I'm sure that there probably is. Uh, molten nickel. Okay, so that how am I gonna get nickel? Oops, bringing up the thing. Uh let's have a look. Nickel, nickel. Now you can get crushed nickel f from. Yeah, how do I get it? I can get it from seven gravel, so. 3% chance. Eh, it's not too bad. From that, we just need silk mesh, which is just string, isn't it? So that's not too bad. And I want to make the automatic hammer as well, then we can get resource accumulation pretty much completely um pretty much completely automated. Uh but we will need and let's push in and out of the auto chisel. Yeah. Okay. Um Yeah, but for this we need an anvil, so we need a metric fuck down of iron, essentially. And more invar. Or dark steel. Didn't I have some dark steel stuff? I might have thrown it away. <laughs> or recycled it. I thought I had some dark steel shoes. Or boots. I think I recycled them. <laughs> uh, whoops. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> yeah, so we can do that before ne uh, for next episode. And... There's only one last thing to do in this episode, and that's to pay another visit to the mob grinder. Because, why not? And go through our... We can go through our, um... Accumulation of... Loot bags and stuff. Take out some of these dudes. <coughs> the good thing about the open blocks mods, um experience tank because it recognises the fact that some levels take a greater amount of experience to get past it doesn't just class one level as X amount of experience so we're not really wasting stuff by going up to level 64 whereas if you did like a level 30 in chance it would be much more efficient to do it at level 30 than at level 64 because from level 64 to oh wow that's a lot of gold stuff I want that I do want that indeed, because I think you can smelt that down. But it may have to be undamaged. It's the only thing. I don't think I need that pink dye at the moment. And uh, let's have a look. I think it has to be undamaged, though. Yeah, you have to be undamaged, don't you? Oh well, never mind. So let's start by converting these to uncommon. Then we can convert the uncommon to the next highest tier. Um, yeah, so rare 
Sad Scorts, that's okay. Iron Boots, I can smelt you. Redstone. Yeah, it's going to be useful to us as well. Uh, Rally Thormium Ho, I might be able to smelt you, I'm not 100% sure. Rail, I don't know. Oak saplings are completely useless. Iron leggings are good. I'm actually going to make a quick chest here. Just for stuff to smelt in a minute. Because I'll probably do that kind of now ish whilst it's on my mind. I'll put it over by the smeltery. We also want to get a better system of lava generation as well. I'll sort the floaty thing out in a minute. I want to see if I can smelt you and you and you. <coughs> and next, uh, next rare. Iron boots. That's okay. Even though it's kind of shit, you just get one thing. Amber, meh. obsidian. That's going to be useful. Although you can make it in a stone barrel. And nothing to smell there. And division sigil. Well, I think I've already got one of those. Vibrant alloys, kind of cool. Thormium pickaxe is pretty good because it's the equivalent of diamond, I think. Uh, another red loot bag, another one of those, that's pretty cool. Uh, mundane ring, that's pretty crap. And my inventory's full again. I need to like get backpacks or something. Even though we're not going anywhere. <laughs> Start an ME system. That's going to be a ways away. Uh, chuck you in there. Can I get rid of any of these mob drops because they're starting to pile up? Let's have a look at these. Uh, common treasure, gold horse armor, you're getting smelted. Diamond's pretty cool. Rare loot bag, iron horse armor, you're getting smelted. Rare loot bag, escort's okay, you're getting smelted. More obsidian, common treasure. Rare loot bag, you're getting smelted. We've got so many things to smelt, we're actually going to be alright on iron already. <laughs> we got a metric ton of it already, which is pretty cool. And now for the epics and this weird one, which we've actually got another one of now. You must have got it from then. Uh, we need to harvest some potatoes in a minute. Right. Epic. Gold horse armor, you're getting smelted. Thermium swords, you're okay. Ring of protection, meh. And I've run out of space again. God damn it. Uh, empty map, that's really shit. Let's use it. Let's find out the extent of our world. Oh crap. Oh, I'm not going to throw it off the edge. I might make a big poster at some point. We will see. <laughs> Fate's trying to get us to start Thorncraft. Uh, someone's head. Ring of Igneous. Thormium Axe. Rail. I want to see if you can smell the rail. Let's actually try that now. Oh, you can. Okay. That's pretty cool, because we're probably not going to be making any um, mine track systems. Well, not for the moment, anyway. Uh, diamond horse armor. That's slightly disappointing. I could use those diamonds for something else. <laughs> Anything else. Enchanted book. Yeah, why not? Uh, more of you dudes. You can go in there. I wonder how much you get per one, so there's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 about to get done. And you made 3 ingots. Okay. We're going to have to be careful at the moment because we need to make everything into blocks so that we can do that because we don't have a ingot cast at the moment. Now what are in these? We have a chest, a stick, and some nether quartz. Uh, that's kind of okay, I suppose. 
one out of every four chests is a Sorin chest. Only you can prevent inventory a inventory clutter by creating more. What? I had almost the same thing inside except it had two chests. Uh okay. Well we can expand that one I guess. And let's just have a look at our common treasures. Anything useful? Potion of swiftness. Uh, I didn't really see what else we got. We got some gold coins. <laughs> Did we get this? No, we didn't get the search quartz dust. I think we got that ender pearl. And a potion of invisibility. Meh. Yeah, it's what it is. Ooh, more gold coins. Oh, did I just throw them on the floor? Well, that was clever of me. <coughs> I like having this window here because you can see all the stuff smelting down. Well, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share the video. And I will hope to see you in the next episode, which shouldn't be too long. I'm trying to upload one of these um, at... 1 p.m. UK time every day. Uh, we'll see if that time changes at some point, but that's what I'm going to be doing at the moment at least. And I'm afraid I don't know the conversion to other time zones offhand, but there is this wonderful thing called Google which will tell you. And if you follow me on Twitter, particularly, uh, that's www.twitter.com forward slash GDI Kessa I will always uh, post the video on there when it's up so thanks for watching guys and girls ladies and gentlemen and I will see you soon cheerio